up your R630. Here you will hit F2. There's my iDRAC IP. I'm going to show you all that. You will scroll to iDRAC settings. I'm going to try and install on it before I get it to, just to make sure. Show you my summary. Go here, and here's my IP. It's my IP address, so I can log in. Oh, you're gonna go down here. Click on System Event Log. Going to Clear Records. And you'll hit back. And you'll finish. And you'll say yes. There's my DRAC IP address. As always, root Calvin, K V I N, K L V I N. And then you'll submit. And here, this is you logging into your DRAC. Logs. And here's my logs after I cleared everything. We can clear again. That's the iDRAC log, system event log. Here's the life cycle for that system. And you have to go down at how to clear that. As you can tell, the chassis was open when I worked on it last, which was today. 6.20 at about 10.30. I did resetting. If your system is green right here and you know where you've done it, only thing you can't do is clear the life cycle from in here. Life cycle log cannot be cleared from in the drag. You actually have to go back to the system. Resetting the life cycle controller. You'll hit F10. You will have to reset the system all the way to its defaults.
up and the end of a one size fits all family movie. Now we can get the thing one. And here's your life cycle controller. As you can tell, there's nothing to do in here as far as clearing your life cycle log. In order to remove everything from your life cycle, you must go down to settings. Nope, 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 sorry. I believe it's under hardware config. You scroll down to hardware. You'll go over to repurposing the or retire. You'll go here. Go ahead and you can clear everything if you need to. And just reset everything. And then you just hit finish. It'll give you this warning if you're okay with everything. It'll take about, depending on the system and what's inside of it, it'll take over 10 minutes sometimes. You'll have to wait for the life cycle controller to go back through and do a system inventory. It'll go back to the life cycle controller. It's going to want you to erase everything on the data. It takes a while. So, and this is starting the system back up after the iDRAC has reset with the life cycle controller being reset. As you can tell, the screen's a little different because you don't have any choices up here along the top because it's going to take you directly to the life cycle controller. That IP is in generic. You'll have to reset it. You'll go into the life cycle controller by pressing F10. We're doing the full reset. Go over here and you can look at your life cycle log history. Life cycle log 